today is the 1st of April. It's 10 a.m. and it's about 53 degrees, not very warm. Um, each day, well this weekend we're supposed to have temperatures in the 40s for the lows and then 70s for the highs. And then Monday and Tuesday it dips down because we got another storm coming through. And then um, it starts to go up and it looks like the 10 day forecast is going to be like 70s, 40s. So that's good. We're not used to these chilly temperatures. Anyway, I'm showing this because I trimmed back the lantana. I've been weeding in the rocks. We moved the sage out to the front yard, the pot. I moved this petunia that was in the rocks. I took it out of where the gophers had mounded a bunch of dirt over here. So I finally got that all straightened out. And we sifted the rocks and kind of cleaned up this area because it was pretty torn up by the gophers. And then we found a leak. So that's something that's got to get fixed. I think it's probably got some kind of crack in it. We still have the leak over there to work on. We moved the heavenly bamboo to the front. So this was where our fountain in the backyard used to be, and now we've moved it to the front. I think it'll like its home because it's kind of a shady area, and I think heavenly bamboo can handle shade better than a lot of plants can. And it should provide lots of interest, color interest, because it gets those red leaves in the fall and stuff. Anyway, we got some flowers going like crazy too. The petunias have just loved this chilly weather, which is amazing. I thought they were summer plants. <laughs> we still got some water collection going on, although not as much. I'll show the trees. Starting to get their green. There's a petunia back in here that came up voluntarily. This is with some salvia. I have petunias popping up everywhere, plus what I've already captured. This is a petunia that I left alone that volunteered. The, I forget what, muscari. I've been calling these hyacinth, which they are grape hyacinth, but the technical term for them is muscari. So I'm going to start using the right names for things. Well, maybe. You never know about me. <laughs> the pomegranate trees putting on some leaves. We haven't moved this palm tree yet and it doesn't like this location it gets a lot of wind there it was protected over on the side of the house so there's that this is the aster from the front yard i pulled it out and put a, that petunia in that was from the groundhog pile i 
got my plants out yesterday. So this is just their second day enjoying some sun warmth. The tomatillas look like pitiful. They've got, um, they're real yellowy. Um, there's my geraniums, they're looking good. These tomatoes look pretty good. And these are all my petunias that I got from the yard. And I've been pinching off the flowers. But I took them inside and they've been in now for a couple of months. And I brought them back out, trying to harden everything off. This is also stuff for the plant sale. and. I, few weeks, couple weeks. There's some black Hungarian peppers. But yeah, these tom tomatillas look horrible. That's what's on the back here. And then I had something that was getting on the leaves of my pepper plants, like this one especially. I thought it was aphids, but it may not have been. There might even be some still. Kind of a... I don't know. But I washed them with some water. Just water, no soap or anything. So we'll see how they do. Let's see, what else? Those are going to the plant sale, those chard, because I have enough chard. I'm really the only one that eats chard, and there's way more than I can eat. So, there's some more muscari. It's coming up around the outside, and that's mezu, I think it is that's next to it. I need to clean out these beds, but I wanna get my mulch ready to go before I do that. But, and there's gonna be a couple of armeria that I saved from around the outside here. So they'll, it looks like they're gonna bloom. And then I've got these gazanias and I planted a bunch of gazanias. But this is where we took the heavenly bamboo and we also took the lantana out of here. So that's where my, I'm going to plant about four petunias in here along with the lemon, Meyer lemon tree. So that'll be going in probably this next week because it should be warm enough now. I haven't gotten my jasmine moved yet. Oh, here's some more. The volunteer petunias are really looking good. Um, that's heavenly bamboo in that pot and it looks pretty and it gets a lot of shade. So I think it'll do fine. My lilies are coming in. These are the tiger swirl. Two of those that I thought were dead. Got some cannas that I planted in here. Some iris. And then there's a couple of red lantanas that look dead, but I don't believe they are. So this plant here, I think, is a heavenly bamboo from the front yard where that sage was sitting is sitting now that pot so we brought it back we'll see if it starts to get new growth on it if it doesn't i'm pulling it but it does make it nice that we don't have anything blocking the entryway over there anymore i actually had gotten carried away with my pots containers <clears throat> Petunias are doing well in there. There's some new growth on these boxwoods. 
There's an agastache in that pot there. You can see my daffodils are still blooming. This is a, I took cuttings off of this petunia. Oh, I'm getting a tulip right there. So that'll be interesting. The tulips are starting to come up. And this rose bush is looking a little more healthy. So I've had this covered. I'm probably going to leave it covered for a few more days and then I'll take it off. There's growth on the Cape Honeysuckle. So we're going to get the trellises kind of fixed and ready to go so we can start training in the Cape Honeysuckle. Um, oops, there's a daffodil that's poking through there. I, this might be petunia. I might take all that out of there. Here's a daffodil that poked up. There's three in each pot, so hopefully. But it's encouraging that it's coming up now because we only have a little bit of time before the plant sale. There's some, I think. So, nothing showing in this one yet. Even if they just come up a little bit, I'll feel good about it. At least you can show that you're not just selling somebody a pot of dirt. So here's what well, I'm working on now. We are. This is going to be where my pallet walkway goes, and then it's going to trail over to that shed. And probably this spring, I'll only get this part of it done. But still, that'll be an accomplishment for as long as it's... As long as I've been saying it and have yet to get it built. So that's... Hopefully something I'm going to start this week, as well as taking these trellises that are up here and getting those moved. Because my tomato cages are going up there and I don't need those trellises. So I hope to move those. So I'll go up here. There's the tree well. The, like, you can see the Swiss chard is bouncing back. I think Swiss chard is such a pretty plant. I love it. So there's my whole antenna. I tried to build wells around them a little bit to make it easier to water them. We've got a bunch of cords up here that needs to go. I think it's all stuff that just we need to get rid of that's hopefully I'll get purple antenna that trail over the end here there's all my pallets to start cutting apart I'm excited to do that project got a bird sitting on the roof. Maybe I'll show that from up here. That might be kind of cool to see what that pallet walkway looks like from above. I think it's going to look nice. And it's going to be a, a big utility um, because I really don't like walking on those rocks especially the big ones and um, having a something where I can scoot a cart through it or whatever will be nice. I think it'll get utilized really well. So then another fun thing Here's a, I think that's broccoli in there. 
I know that is. That's broccoli. Purple broccoli. I'll probably cut that. I cut some and we had a huge amount. Of, I had like a medley of vegetables. I think this is where I'm going to plant my ruella. So I'm excited to see that go in. And then this is amazing. All of this alyssum is in the rocks. So like this is alyssum and I started picking it out of the rocks and um, like, isn't that cute? But I really wanna put it in my pot. So I'm gonna start like that's a petunia, but here's an alyssum I pulled out of the rocks. And then I think I have one here, a couple of them, but I probably need to get that watered better. Oh, it's because the water shut off. Okay, then we got some tea, tea posts, is that what they are? I can't remember. Those are going in this bed, and then we're going to put the trellises down the center. So I'm looking forward to that. I think I brought these peppers out too early. Probably shocked them with the cold. So I don't know if I'll even keep them. Um, I'm going to leave that one alone because I think where it's sitting, it's pretty warm. I'll show the progress of my, just in a week or two time, I'm getting lots of green on my strawberries. So I'm excited about that. The only thing is, I think the thing I put in is not, I can't turn, it's not rotating. And I think I did that. I put the wrong base in, so. These I planted too early. They're not gonna make it. That's a cucumber. It looks like it's still alive, but it took a hit from the cold. I think any of these. Blue Hubbard squash. I just don't think it's gonna make it. We took out the mustard spinach that was over there. And so now all I have is this. I'm gonna let some of this go to seed and collect it because I want those cabbages several places in the yard. I just like the way they look. But the mustard spinach is, was huge and it was keeping me from getting to my compost and stuff. So I had to cut it down. I still have a couple of roots to get rid of. They're huge. Look at my purple broccoli. It's even big. And then this should help the beets get bigger. The beets look pretty good size, hopefully. I love beets. I think this is mustard spinach, maybe. I don't remember. So I'm going to be... Repurposing, repurposing this soil. Pretty. That's a salvia there. And then my cilantro seems to be doing pretty good too. So. I planted cilantro everywhere. The fact that I'm only getting that little amount says a lot. Here's a bunch of purple. Purple broccoli. It's the purple sprouting broccoli. It tastes pretty good. To me, it has almost a taste between an asparagus and a broccoli.
Gonna get this bed ready to go. This one ready to go. Got lots to do. Looking forward to our outside projects. That's my garden diary.